Oh, hi there. Good to see you again. As promised, I'm here to talk a little bit about some of the latest Docker announcements around Azure and also show off a new shirt. Please. I, I'm assuming you're clapping at home. Thank you. Um, so I want to spend a, a few minutes actually talking about some of the things that we've recently announced with Docker. Um, they're very exciting. Uh, some of the abilities for Azure to take advantage of those things and just sort of how it may apply to you in your usage case. So, let me start just backing up a little bit on sort of what even Docker is, um, and I'll try and explain it a little bit in my own words. Um, but to a certain extent, it ends up being really just a, a container uh, that helps you subdivide uh, a specific compute instance. So a great example of how you sort of may use this is if you've got a VM, a very beautiful, beautiful square, look at that. Um, you've got a virtual machine uh, that may be running, and uh, for argument's sake, we'll say it's running in Azure. Um, and what you can end up doing, uh, and so let's say this is you know, Linux, let's say it's running Ubuntu, mm. and uh, you could go in and now you can effectively take and uh, sort of add an additional uh, layer on top for your applications to run. Um, and so this may run, let's say, uh, a Redis cache. Uh, you may have Mongo here uh, for some sort of database and maybe, you know, sort of Nginx, et cetera. Um, and so, <clears throat> You end up being able to subdivide. Each one of these guys think they're fully alone, uh, but uh, they end up actually sharing the space on this virtual machine. Uh, but the cool thing about it is that these are uh, co containers, uh, and as Docker containers, they end up actually making it so it's very easy to be able to move them around. So if you have a VM, let's say, somewhere else, or maybe you have um, uh, on your you know, home desktop, um, your, your development box, uh, you end up having the exact same containers that then can go to multiple places and created this really open, sort of extensible environment. Very cool. So when you look at this, the first thing that may strike you is, great, that's really awesome. But man, first of all, how do I actually set up this virtual machine? And then, how am I going to organize these things? How am I going to make sure that I can orchestrate and manage them? So those are really good questions, uh, if I do say so myself. The answer for, for both of them is actually some of the latest technology. So one of the things that was recently announced is a technology called Docker Machine. And we have added native support uh, from, the, from the Azure and Microsoft teams to be able to leverage this with both Hyper-V and Azure. And what this guy does is he effectively, uh, or she, excuse me, um, effectively will deploy hosts on any uh, environments that you may need. Uh, and so it can talk and deploy onto a Hyper-V box um, and set that up as a host for these containers. Uh, it also can talk into Azure and set that up as a VM host for these containers in a very simple, easy to configure way. It also works with other cloud providers. I don't know why you'd use them, but if you needed to, um, you know, it can work with those as well. It works pretty much in any environment you may, you may expect it to work in. Um, and so this creates a really simple way. And of course, Azure and Hyper-V are important parts of that as well. And then the other two solutions uh, that are worth uh, uh, talking about and also talking about our uh, involvement in them uh, is uh, Swarm and, um, and Compose. And these really are about uh, sort of Swarm is a, uh, um, a solution that's built by Docker that allows sort of the orchestration and placement uh, of, of these Docker containers. It allows you to effectively treat multiple hosts as sort of one entity. Right? Um, but the really cool thing is it actually uses the same API that Docker uses to deploy. So it really plays well with all sorts of other tools and solutions like Deus, Flynn, et cetera. Um, and so you can, end up, uh, you can end up using sort of those types of solutions uh, uh, across uh, in, in coordination with Swarm. We actually have great details on how to set up a Swarm master on Azure. And we'll put that, can we put that here? We'll put that here uh, to explain sort of how you may want to set this up across multiple hosts running in Azure. And so that will allow a lot uh, easier control and easier orchestration as you deploy these, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, new containers. And then Compose actually sits as part of a solution that's uh, on the actual host, um, and it allows you using sort of a, a Yammer-based file. Uh, it allows you to configure and deploy across a set of Docker containers that are going to deploy on the box. Um, and so this will actually play nicely as well with Swarm to be able to actually configure on the host a set of these Docker containers. Um, and we are planning to deeply integrate this as part of our extension experience that sits on top of our host running uh, in 
Azure so that it'll be very easy for us to take that YAML, uh, deploy out those Docker containers, and have a blast. And so, you know, when I look at this, the power of Docker um, is very, very exciting in Azure. It allows you to take these containers, move them around, dev, test, production, deploy. And now with these solutions, Docker Machine allows you to set them up with ease as a host. And then Swarm and Compose combined allow you to orchestrate and manage and deploy these uh, across many, many hosts without having to worry about uh, sort of having to manage them individually. And so really great stuff. I'm excited about the integration that we've got with Azure, and I'm looking forward to a lot of cool stuff still down the road. So stay tuned uh, and hope this was helpful. As usual, new questions, put them in here, send them to me on Twitter, and uh, we'll get to them. So thank you for the time. Okay, cool. Once again, you give me a clap. You ready? <laughs> Just one clap. Uh, <laughs> that worked. Did I get it? <laughs> are, are you going to pan in? I was going to pan in. Oh, I'm so I got to be ready. I yeah, got to be ready. Be ready. All right, all right. I was just the audio sync, so okay. now we're in sync. We're okay. Ready?